All right, so what we have here is the HiCon Integra motion controller board from Vital Systems. This is the hobby version. This is part number 7754. And um, I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. So first of all, why did I buy this board? Um, in the past, I've been using Smooth Stepper products. I have an Ethernet Smooth Stepper, a USB Smooth Stepper. I've been using them with Mach 3. They work fine. Uh, I like both of them. And, you know, they're reasonably priced. The people that sell them are cool. They have good tech support. You know, everything's, everything's cool with Smooth Stepper. Um, but lately, I've decided I want to get into Mach 4. And, you know, long story short, what I've discovered was uh, there's certain functionality in Mach 4 that uh, the motion controller board manufacturers just have not totally embraced yet. So, you know, things like backlash compensation and um, single point threading, maybe a few other features, but those are the two that stick in my mind right now. Um, Smooth Stepper, PMDX, all the, you know, the really great folks that make this stuff and make really good products. They just haven't completely, you know, brought all those functionalities into their product yet. So, so I was a little frustrated because I wanted to use Mach 4, but my smooth stepper boards weren't going to, you know, backlash compensation, for instance. I, I really want that and uh, couldn't get it from smooth stepper right now. So I was fortunate speaking with my friend uh, Jared, and I'll probably throw a link to his YouTube channel in the description of this video, but he is a, uh, well, he's sort of a jack of all trades, but his day job, he's an automation engineer, but he does a lot of uh, really cool machining stuff uh, on the side, in addition to the automation stuff he does in his day job, and he has some really nice machines that he's retrofitted. He has a, a nice hardened gang tool lathe, and he told me about Hikon Integra boards from Vital Systems. So I immediately had to do some research on this. And what, basically what I found out is it seems like these, uh, the people from Vital Systems, the Hikon Integras, they seem like they're the, the top of the heap right now. If you want to do Mach 4, you want the best of the best. Uh, you need to go to Vital Systems and talk about Hikon Integra uh, boards. Now here's the kicker. You know, like I said, smooth stepper, I think the Ethernet Smooth Stepper is like $180. Uh, this is the Hikon Integra Hobby board. This, this was $435. You also need a uh, power supply that can give you 24 and 5 volts out of the same power supply. That's another $35 if you buy it from Vital Systems. So, so you have $470 into this thing. So this is, this is quite a bit more expensive than you know, Smooth Stepper, PMDX, probably Pokies. I don't really know much about Pokies, but I don't even know if I'm saying it right. But I'm guessing that this Hikon Integra is a lot more money than pretty much anything else that you, you'll look at. But it seems like right now it's the best thing that you can get for Mach 4. It also seems to me like this company, Vital Systems, they really cater to the high end, like professional retrofit, you know, real you know, quote unquote, real CNC machine world. Um, so I think you're just dealing with a, you know, a totally different business model here. I think these guys at Vital Systems are more into uh, the industrial thing where, you know, the other board manufacturers, they may be less industrial, more hobby. Hey, whatever. Uh, I don't care. I was super happy to find someone who made a board that supported all the functions in Mach 4. So uh, one thing that I really wanted was backlash compensation. No one else has that working yet in Mach 4, but these guys, they have it working. Uh, single point threading, um, vital systems, they, they have it working with these uh, Integra boards. So, so yeah, so here's the board, um, 435 bucks, 70, or, uh, 35 bucks for the power supply. And this is the hobby. So the hobby board can do four axes and it runs at 125 kilohertz. If you get the, per, the regular Integra, it'll do six axes, it runs at 200 kilohertz. Um, I wouldn't get too hung up on the speed. 125 kilohertz, I think, is gonna be plenty fast enough, especially for 
you know, if you're building a retrofit machine in your garage or basement or something like that, you, I don't think you're going to need more than 125 kilohertz. I, um, I just don't think you'll need that um, unless, unless you're trying to do something really, really extreme or really fast. The um, board has, so here you go. So there's your power connections. Uh, this is where you connect motor zero, motor one, motor two, motor three. Um, here's where you would connect motor four and five, but I assume that's disabled. This is a connection for a pendant you can buy from Vital Systems, a really nice pendant, Ethernet, obviously. Uh, this, these are the connections for a single end encoder, which I think the, the board right out of the box is already, it's got the single end encoder functionality turned on. Expansion port, expansion port. Um, this is where your relay connections go. This is a connection for a differential encoder, which I don't think this board will do that. I think you have to pay for an upgrade if you want to use a differential encoder. And um, here are all your, you know, your input connections, your output connections, and some power. Something I really like, this board has LEDs on it, so as you're turning your inputs and outputs, dealing with those, um, it lights up right on the board. So if you're troubleshooting it, that's, that's pretty cool. Uh, right now when LED's running, they have this cool little heartbeat pattern. If you see the heartbeat, that means the board's working. Really nice board. It's in a metal case. Uh, just, you know, everything about this is heavy duty, industrial. The plug-in for it seems to be top notch. Everything's really clean. You can tell they had like really good programmers or at least it appears that they have really good programmers. I don't know, everything seems to be working well. Based on appearances, it all, it looks great. It has a lot of really nice functionality. Um, it talks, so far what I can see, it talks with the Mach 4 program. It's really well integrated. It knows what Mach's doing. And you know, when certain settings you put in the plugin, certain settings you, you load into Mach, and it'll actually pop up and tell you that. Like if you're, if you're in a mock screen and you're trying to load something like backlash compensation, when you, go to, when you press enter, a little window will pop up and say, hey, you're using the HiCon board. You don't enter backlash compensation in this window. You should enter it in the HiCon plugin. So I'm not gonna let you save that value. So they seem like they've really done all the right things to build this plugin. Uh, so I like it, it's, it's pretty cool. And I think, I think it even has, oh yeah, so it has a test function built right into it. So you can, um, you can test your, test your motors right from within the plugin and it gives you some charts and graphs and, you know, pretty cool stuff. So I get the impression as I'm, as I'm playing with this that, like I said, that the people here at Vital Systems are catering towards like the industrial market you know, professional retrofitters or machine tool builders. And it looks like their hardware and their plugins, you know, are on par with what you would expect. I'm not saying that the other guys don't make really good stuff too, but, um, you know, maybe they go after the hobby market a little more. I think the Hicon guys are, or the Vital System guys are going more after the, you know, the professional, you know, industrial market, which is probably why I've never even heard of them until you know, just recently when Jared told me about them. So, so there you go. Um, yeah, cool board. If you want to spend the money, man, this thing seems great. If you want to get into Mach 4, this is awesome. Um, I think you could get into Mach 4 with, you know, Smooth Stepper or PMDX, but you just won't have all the bells and whistles and for the time being. So, all right, well, thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. Be safe.